What's up guys, today we have the Samsung On5 locked to T-Mobile, which is purchased off of somebody but is currently Google Samsung FRP locked. As you can see, when we factory reset it and we're trying to set up the phone, it's asking for the Google email exactly that was previously used by the previous owner. We are stuck since we don't have that information. Therefore, we're going to need to use remote locking services. Let's go. So you're going to need your smartphone and your USB cable. Oh, also you're going to need a Windows laptop or a computer. Next, you will need to visit sellunlocker.net to begin the unlocking process. As the name suggests, we'll be remotely unlocking your smartphone, which is why you needed a Windows computer and a USB cable. A professional technician will be connecting to your smartphone through your computer, and they will push the necessary unlock code to permanently and safely unlock your smartphone. For the service type, we're going to select Samsung FRP Google Removal so that we can remove the previous Google account found on your device. Fill out the information below as asked, first name, last name, the email address, and a working phone number. Now the number is necessary because we need to get in contact with you to set up an appointment time to complete our services with you within the business hours stated above. So for the IMA number, you definitely cannot get it from within the phone. So what we're going to have to do is pop the back of the phone, remove the battery, and just get the IMA number from the sticker. Alternatively, you can also get it from your box. Now input this number in the order form. In order for us to obtain the build number for your phone, we will need to go into the recovery mode. For this phone in particular, we will power it down and power it back up by holding these three buttons simultaneously. When the phone boots up, simply let go of the power button finger and let it load up. After a few minutes, you should see the recovery mode. Your build number is shown here at the top. Write down the build number exactly as shown and please provide it in the order form on the order page. Once the order is placed, you will soon receive an email with instructions on what to do next. Follow the link to download the AnyDesk program. As soon as you click the link, the program should automatically download from the website. Click it right away or find it in your downloads folder and launch it to see AnyDesk open. Select Install AnyDesk on this computer at the bottom here and accept and install. Close the welcome window and you are good to go. Email us back in the email you received earlier with the AnyDesk ID you see here, a time and date you would be free, and a phone number for us to set up the appointment. During your appointment with your technician, you must ensure that your phone is ready to go with a minimum battery charge of 50%. You must have a USB cable ready connected to your computer and the exact same AnyDesk application you downloaded loaded up. Your technician will then send you a request to connect to your computer. Click Accept to begin. Your technician may create a text file to communicate with you. Your technician will ask simple questions such as ensuring that certain settings are correctly set. The process can be lengthy depending on how strong and fast your internet connection may be. Your technician will get to work by installing an application that will enable for the servicing of your smartphone. When you see step 1 on the application in green, or when prompted by your technician, plug in your phone. If your phone is already plugged in, don't worry. Simply unplug your phone and plug it back in. As you approach step 2, your technician will then begin servicing your smartphone connected. Remember to always leave it connected and never disconnect unless instructed to do so. Depending on your phone, the technician may or may not reboot your phone once or twice. On the computer screen, you should see step 3 in green, which means that your technician is working to permanently factory unlock your smartphone. After your technician has finished from removing the Google Samsung FRP lock, they will reset your phone once more. Once rebooted, follow the phone's first time setup. Notice that it no longer shows a message that asks for you to input the previous Google email of the previous owner. That's because at this point, the service is completed and you are now free to use this phone with your own Google account. You can also further verify this by going to Settings and Accounts and you will see that you can add your own account as it is cleared out. On the computer, you will see that you've now reached step 4. At this point, you can unplug your phone, turn off the application, and just enjoy your new unlock. If you found our remote unlock tutorial to be helpful, hit us a like and subscribe. We will provide all our links to the remote unlock in the description below. Till next time, goodbye.